Well, hello there, greetings. Here we are again. We've got another VPages tutorial, number three actually here today. And before we get into today's lesson, let me just say thank you so much for the feedback that you guys have been leaving uh, both on the user experience for the product, but also on the training. V pages, V for video pages. We are jumping straight into this quick lesson and we're gonna go over the design of your video pages and I'll give you some tips on making them look totally awesome. So back here we are again, WordPress admin. And what I've got here is I've got a video, how to make video backgrounds, which we just saw here, just a basic headline up here and the video in place. And I'm sure you've already done something similar. And here we've got our designer options. With our designer options, they're broken into two categories. So the first row here is the skin. So by default, this is not actually a pure white, this is an off white, which is really comfortable on the eyes. But if you want a pure white, you can select the pure white design. Let's update. Reloading the page. And now we can see we've got a pure white background. Now if you're making like a white background video, where you've got a pure white background in your actual video, then the white theme can be really useful and the video can just blend into the whole page. And uh, we'll look at those in a different course. Next, go with the light one. The light one gives you a little bit more definition of the actual outline of the page. So this is one of my favorite ones. And you can see there, we get a nice little rounded there, bit of shadow, and uh, really pops that video page out just nicely. Let's keep going quickly through this. We've got the dark option. And you can see the dark option is the similar to the light option, but we've got the dark instead of the light. And then we also have the black option. Now, if you're using Facebook comments with these different themes, then the Facebook comments are automatically gonna match the theme. And um, I actually like all of these. And if I just quickly flick on the Facebook comments and we'll take a look at it here. Reloading the page. You can see that the Facebook comments, we've got the text there in white, and then the comments, when you start getting comments, they look really cool with the black background. Now, along with the design, we've got themes. So we've got blue, green, red, pink, and orange. Now, I'm not gonna go through all of these and totally bore you, but let me just quickly pick the blue one here. We'll just pick a couple and I'll explain something to you really quickly and non-boringly. Reloading the page, you can see we got the nice blue there at the top with the headline. And also if we activate the action button, I was really quick to click that. My page is still loading. So sometimes if your page hasn't loaded yet, you'll just have to be patient so let's give it a quick text here, action button. I'm just gonna leave the link blank. I just want you to see the visual of it. Reload the page. There we go, and it's nicely matching. Now, I intentionally matched the Facebook blue. So probably not with the black background, but if you wanna make a really smooth transition from Facebook, to your video page, which is a really good thing to do in marketing, then you can use this blue theme and it's the same blue as the Facebook blue. And with the Facebook, you would probably pick the white or the light theme and then it's gonna nicely match the transition. So let's just reload this and you'll see that'll match nicely coming from Facebook. Now, if you do end up with the comments like this and you think, hey, I wanna put the action button directly below the video, I don't want it down the bottom of the page, you can do that. 
All you need to do is head back to your settings and this will only be relevant if you're using the action button and the comments. Let's go to the settings. Scrolling down, we've got Facebook tools selected. We'll go down here to Facebook tools and we've got comments placement. We can put it there below the action button or below the video. So let's switch, switch this around so you remember this when you need it. We'll go back here. When I reload the page, we'll get the action button directly below the video. There we go, really nicely. All right, let's get into some fun stuff here and let's spice this page up. I'm heading over to Flickr here and I absolutely love the stuff that I find at Flickr. It's really amazing and some of it looks so cool. And what you can do is you can grab these backgrounds and use them on your video page. And you can check out the terms and those sort of things yourself. I mean, look at this stuff. It's absolutely fantastic. So let's pick something here to go with our video page. I'm going to pick this one. It just looks super interesting. Here you can see the image. What you want to do is you want to select your size. So you can select from here, view all sizes, just a down arrow there. And you can pick any of these if the background image is really important. I tend to pick something around the 800 pixels. Uh, if there's a lot of detail in the image, I'll pick 800 pixels or I might even pick 1600 pixels around this sort of size. But the bigger the size, there'll be a little bit of a delay when it loads in the person's browser. So you don't want to go the original size or the larger size. You certainly don't want to go the small size because it's going to look very pixelated. So between 500 to about a, a thousand is a, is a good width for this. I'm going to go the medium 800 here. I'm just clicking that which looks like it was actually the same size. And what I'm doing here is I'm right clicking and I'm just going to save the image to my desktop here. I'm going to rename this to Tunnel Lights. So I've got that on my desktop now. Let's go back to our admin here. And to add a background to our V page, we need to first activate the Show Advanced Settings. And what this does is this shows several different advanced settings down here. But in the Designer Options, it brings up this nice background image option. So we can select media and I'm just going to upload it here. Your typical WordPress media, there it is, tunnel lights. Select the background image. There we go. I'm just going to click here, insert into page. Let's update our post and have a look at what we've got here. Back to our V page, I'm going to reload it. There we go, we can see we've got a really cool uh, background image there. I do prefer the light or the dark one, it just gives it a little bit more style. So let's have a look at the dark option here. And there you can see a bit of transparency as well, but still it's very readable. And look at this, the, the Facebook comments look absolutely awesome. There we go, that's it for this training session. Another V page training session. I hope you're finding these lessons useful. And if you just pick one or two things out of today's training lesson that helps you create more or better looking or more personal video pages, uh, then I think this lesson's been worthwhile. Well, let's keep going with some more videos to come, but that's it for now. Go ahead and tweak your V page or set up a brand new one and try some of the new things you learnt today.